This is George Floyd's criminal record, and I'm going to show you. But first I want to say something to the simple-minded Americans that are setting our country on fire. A more breaking news banner at the bottom of your screen. Military police now ready to deploy within four hours uh, if needed. A lot of this information is coming uh, from the Pentagon. Yeah, so they're just, they're not really worried really or concerned. It looks like they're more concerned about being able to start their fire than they are about any consequences, David. Yeah, I would say that's right. And, you know, there haven't been many officers around. We've been, we were driving around this neighborhood. We left that overpass we were at earlier trying to get closer to the precinct. And there, Nicolette Avenue was blocked off by several buses and state troopers. But at the scene. So now they are burning down residential neighborhoods, lots of apartments on one side, houses on the other. They're blocking the street to ensure that the fire department and the police can't get through. All these people want is a good night's sleep, and you guys are burning the neighborhoods down now. You know, this makes no sense. You're burning down your own communities. Even dogs have the common sense not to crap in their own cage. You guys are some stupid ass people. And I'm seeing this in a lot of the videos. So a lot of black people are going up to white people telling them, this is not your fight. This is not for you. This is embarrassing. You all are defending people and burning America down for people that would never defend you, no matter what happens to you. White people, you could be massacred in the street and these people would dance around you, never protest for you. You're embarrassing. You're burning down America for no reason. So this is the scenario. So this is what's going to happen. There are going to be no more police. There are going to be no more firefighters. These people are underpaid and they risk their life for nothing for this. So when there is no more police, no more firefighters, you guys are going to have these people invading your home and taking what they want. Who are you guys going to call? This is going to backfire in the worst possible way. This is George Floyd's criminal record, and I'm going to show you. But first I want to say something to the simple-minded Americans that are setting our country on fire. This was a violent, disgusting criminal who would never protest for you. He would never riot for you. So let's talk about his most vicious crime. So George Floyd was sent to prison for five years for home invasion. So he broke into a woman's home not knowing she was there. When he found out she was there, he held a gun to her pregnant stomach, demanding money. He went to prison for five years. He had no regard for the woman's life. He threatened her unborn baby. He had no regard for the unborn baby's life. And you are burning down America for this very criminal. You guys are the simple-minded of the simple-minded. Protesting and setting your own neighborhoods on fire for a vicious criminal without all the facts. You seem so stupid. And I know that America already knows that just about half the country is very simple-minded. But this takes the cake. You guys are actually embarrassing. David, is that, uh, so is that a residential area right there? I, I don't see... I can't make out what that, or if that's an apartment building over there. Or are, are these all homes along this yeah. street? These look to be s small apartment buildings. And uh, even behind us now, they're starting another line of trash cans setting fires. If you want to turn around just to show them setting up. It seems every block they want to get done up like this, every intersection, they're starting right behind us now.